Hello everyone, in today's video, I wanna talk about how to choose your first condo. Now, um, I built up a real estate portfolio over the past 15 years and I bought and sold many, many different properties. I don't know, like more than 14 properties over the past 15 years, averaging one property per year. And in that mix, I've owned a lot of condos. So I could say from experience, I can share a lot of tips and tricks that can help you buy your first condo investment. So if you are a Canadian and you're like, oh, you wanna get into the real estate market, you're looking to become a real estate investor or an aspiring real estate investor and you're like, like, oh, really thinking about condos as your first rental or your next rental, then you definitely wanna check out today's video because these are the things I wish I knew before I bought my first condo, which would have saved me thousands and thousands of dollars. Hey everyone, my name is Tracy. Just in case you don't know me, I'm a former engineer, um, ex-consultant, ex-government worker, that basically quit my job like several times in my career. Right now I'm managing a multi-million dollar investment portfolio in Canada full time. I love talking about real estate investing, stock investing based on my 15 years plus experience as an investor in Canada. I love talking about multiple streams of income, building your wealth so you can live your best life. So if you are new to my channel, I want to do all of what I just spoke about, then you definitely wanna hit the subscribe button and that bell notification button so you get the latest and greatest videos coming to you every single week. Plus it's free. So let's get back to the video. So um, over the years, I purchased many, many different condos. I think I've purchased half a dozen condos in the past decade and I've learned a lot from it. And I'm really, really excited about to share my five key things that you definitely need to know before you buy your first condo. In fact, if I'd known these five things, it would save me thousands and thousands of dollars. So the first one is condo fees. So this is something I learned the hard way. I didn't know that condo fees tend to go up over time. Now, I know intuitively it should go up because obviously uh, the reason why you have condo fees is to pay off wear and tear, maybe you know, replace the roof in the future, you know, do some maintenance in the underground parking lot. And, and so that's, you know, seems intuitive, but you don't know how fast the condo fees go up. In my experience, I've had many condos where they start at as $150 and skyrocketed to more than $550 in less than three years. So if you're looking at a condo and you're like, ooh, this looks really interesting, please look at the condo fees really, really carefully and ask yourself, is it reasonable? Here's some signs that you may want to take a closer look. Look at the amenities in the condominium building. Do they have a party room? Do they have a pool? Do they have a gym? Do they have um, a theater, a movie theater? Do they have a library? Because the more amenities you have, I'm gonna say the condo fees are gonna cost way more over time. Because just think about it, there's just more things to maintain. So if you're looking at a condo as your first investment, you might wanna choose something that has very little amenities. In fact, a really basic party room because that means there's less likelihood that the condo fees are gonna skyrocket over time. I would also say if you're looking at brand new condo, um, I would say brand new condos always involve more risk because you're not actually um, buying it based on what the market is saying it's gonna sell at. It could be based on what the builder had to actually build it at and then they need a profit and they need to make some money. So you're just ba building it based on what the builders uh, costed the condominiums at. But anyways, that's, that's besides the point. My point is that when you look at a pre-construction condo, say off of a blueprint, the condo fees are going to be artificially low. So again, ask yourself, is it too low? Is it like, like, like looks stupidly low, like 150 bucks a month or 200 bucks a month, because that's just a way to entice you, to get you in and put a down payment on a pre-construction condo. Look at the amenities. The more amenities there are, the more likelihood condo fees are gonna jump right up over time. So the whole point of investing in a rental property is actually to cash flow. And when the condo fees go up, that eats into your cash flow. 
Hey everyone, I just want to take a few seconds and talk about the free resources that I have to help you buy your first and next rental property. I have a quick guide that tells, gives you the checklist and budget tools to buy your first and next rental property for Canadians and it's free. All you need to do is check out the link below, sign up and you get this free amazing resource to help you buy your first and next rental property. Second thing you want to look for if you're investing in condo is ask the condo board, do they allow rentals, long-term rentals? Because there's been so many times I've made that mistake, unfortunately. When I first got into buying my first, um, I said my second condo, I forgot to ask the condo board, do they allow like rentals? And I was so lucky that after I purchased the condo that I found out that they do allow long-term rentals. So it was saved. But one of the strategies I was looking at was looking at maybe shorter term rentals, maybe doing Airbnb. Well, unfortunately, I found out after I purchased the condo that they don't allow Airbnbs. So if that's one of your strategies to juice the returns of your rental property, like convert your condo into a short-term rental, and some condo boards don't allow. So please ask the condo board, what are the rules for rentals? Number three, make money when you buy. So um, a lot of times there's a lot of videos and real estate investing strategies that talk about you got to have a cash flowing rental property, which is absolutely true, which means that the rental income that you collect after you subtract the condo fees, you pay out the mortgage payments, you pay out the insurance and the wear and tear that comes in with renting out a property, you still make moolah every single month. But I would say another thing you definitely need to look at is make money when you buy. So please do not buy a uh, super hyped up, condo where you buy it off a plan where you can't negotiate on the price because a lot of times i've made money in my condos is buying it as an undervalued condo and the only way you can find out about this is actually creating this deal you got to negotiate you got to find out do some digging about who is selling this unit now it might be really hard of course in a hot housing market but i'm talking about in a balanced real estate market there are gems where you can get your realtor and really dig in who is the seller is it part of a state sale is it part of a divorce is there some circumstance that would make the seller more willing to negotiate on the price. And if your realtor is very good, they can dig out a lot of information because my best investments have been part of a divorce and an estate sale. And that's when I actually bought a condo and got a big discount, like 5% discount off the market price. And that's when you make money when you buy. Number four is talk to your neighbors. So when it comes to condos, well, they have a condo board. That means uh, basically a big management team that makes the decisions on behalf of all the condominium owners. And a lot of these condo boards, well, they can make big mistakes and some of them are really, really badly run. So before you look at a condo as your next investment, just go snoop around meaning go to the condominium building and talk to some of the neighbors, find out what are all the juicy details about the condo board, or maybe even get your realtor to do it. But I personally believe that, hey, if you're gonna put in thousands and thousands of dollars into a rental property, I think you should go and talk to the neighbors personally and get the juicy details of the condo board because I really, really have a big hunch that the neighbors are willing to talk about all the bad things about the condo board. And if you have a bad condo board, stay away from that condominium building because that's gonna save you thousands of dollars just like that. Number five, adding value. So this is one of my favorite investing uh, strategies when it comes to any rental property. It doesn't even need to be a condo. When you look at a condo, always think of what is gonna make your unit stand out. And how are you gonna really maximize your return ASAP? So big thing is look for a condominium that looks kind of ugly in the inside. And I don't mean like structurally ugly. I mean, I mean talking about cosmetic changes. What are the quick cosmetic changes that you can do? I've actually had one of my condos where I had gold tinfoil wrapped around the toilet bowl and cool gold tinfoil wrapped around the bathroom. 
Thankfully, um, my brother <laughs> was the one who actually did the renovation, but um, I was just so happy he made that choice to invest in a condo that was kind of really ugly looking. It had green carpet. So those are quick things you can easily change. Either get your contractor to change or you do the renovations yourself where you change the ugly green carpet to nice hardwood. You paint the kitchen from ugly pale blue to a nice fresh white. You can obviously change the toilet from gold to a regular white toilet. So just adding quick cosmetic changes force appreciates your property and you can really charge higher rents because now you're just bringing it up to probably what the rest of the market looks like. I hope you found this video super helpful. If you are looking to become a serious real estate investor, you definitely want to check out this playlist out here. If you're looking to like really figure out how to finance and buy unlimited amount of rental properties, definitely check out this list right here. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.